Hey, fellow writers. A few weeks ago, we launched our Christmas campaign, where you could get Bafang and Varstrom products by filling out a survey. Let's see what Santa Varstrom puts in the white stocking next to your bed for Christmas. Which display is the best for everyone? People have different functional requirements for displays. Some people want it to be simple and easy to understand. Some people want intelligence. Some people want multifunction. So different people have their own best display in mind. And the P860 and M58 in our gift pool are good examples. P860 is multifunction. M58 is simple and easy to understand. So, what are your requirements for a display? I hope my content can help you choose the best display in your mind. Let's start the show. Let's take a look at P860. Its size is 96.6 millimeters wide, 71.6 millimeters high, 6.1 millimeters. Suitable for all kinds of bicycle handlebars. The shell is made of ABS plus PC material. Even if it is installed on Santa Claus's sleigh, it can easily resist collisions and scratches during riding. The 3.5 inch IPS color matrix screen is quite charming. On a sunny ride, its high contrast makes the data vivid and visible, like numbers dancing in the sun. On a bright Christmas night, the screen is soft and clear, like twinkling stars guiding your night ride. In terms of electrical performance, it supports 24 volts to 52 volts battery power supply, and the rated working current is only 40 milliamps, like a small energy saving model, making your battery life longer. The USB charging port outputs a stable 5 volts, 500 milliamps current, just like a considerate mobile power bank. Whether you want to record the beautiful scene or share the joy of riding with your family and friends, you can always charge your phone during your ride. Moreover, the operating temperature range is minus 20 to 70 degrees Celsius, and the storage temperature range is minus 30 to 80 degrees Celsius. Whether you are riding on a cold, snowy night or taking a ride in the warm afternoon, it can always work stably just like a loyal partner who will never leave you. With outstanding design, it offers multiple benefits. The sturdy shell guarantees durability, cuts costs, and boosts confidence. The high contrast screen is clear in bright light and soft in the dark, enhancing safety, protecting eyes and bringing enjoyment. The efficient energy-saving design prolongs battery life and saves money. The wide battery compatibility and stable temperature performance suit various scenarios. The handy USB charging function keeps the phone charged during rides. All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you all the cool functions of this thing. First off, just long press this button to turn it on, and boom, you'll see the display page. There are two different looks for the page. One is this modern style that you're looking at right now, and the other one is a classic style, kind of like the old P850. You can switch the time display between 12 hour and 24 hour format. Super easy. If you long press this button, it'll turn on the headlight and you'll see the signal pop up. And guess what? It's got an automatic light on thing too. When it starts to get dark, the light will just turn on by itself. But if you don't like that, you can turn it off. The power info can be shown as a percentage or the real time voltage. Here's where the brake display is. As for the assist level, simply press this button to make it go up or down. Boost mode, long press the minus button to trigger it. The speed number is right here and you can play around with the settings. The power is shown here too, or you can switch it to show the real-time current instead. Click the menu button to change what's being shown here. Oh, and there's this maintenance icon. When you've ridden over 5,000 kilometers, it'll remind you to do some maintenance. This is mainly for motorcycles, and it's turned off by default. If there's an error, an error code will show up right here. Now, if you press and hold the up and down buttons for one second, it'll clear all the temporary data. Double click here, and you'll get to the main menu page. Go into the display section, and you can set the language. It supports six different ones, so pick the one you like. You can also choose between imperial or metric for the system. Use the plus and minus signs to adjust the brightness. Set the auto shutdown time here. Decide if you want the USB function on or off. And set the time here, or you can choose to disable it. 
Here, you can set the page style to classic or modern. Back to the main page and into the e-bike part. You can set a password for when it turns on. Adjust the assist level. You can set it to 3 slash 5 slash 9 slash UBE in four different modes for you to choose from. Enter the size of your wheel. Select the voltage of your battery. For the battery power info display, I suggest using the real-time voltage mode. It's more accurate. You can also choose to show the current or power here and set the light sensor recognition. Go back to the main page again and into the advanced settings. You need to type in the password 1919. Here you can set a speed limit. You can choose 25 or remove the speed limit. All right, back to the main menu. Here's the factory reset option. And here's some info about the product and the battery. Check it out. Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. P860 is CE certified and meets the relevant high standards of Europe and is IP65 waterproof certified. ROHS certification indicates that it is environmentally friendly and non-toxic, and many cycling enthusiasts have given positive feedback after using it. Varstrom has a professional team and any pre-sales and after-sales service. There are local warehouses in multiple locations around the world and free door-to-door -door service within six to eight days. If you like my content, please subscribe and like it. This will help me continue to create videos. The next episode will introduce the M58 display. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and happy cycling. See you next time.